Sound is set to travel in air at about 1100 feet per second. A man hears the axe striking the tree 11 by 5 seconds after he sees it strike the tree. How far is the man from the wood chopper? Well, this is a pretty straightforward question. You have been given the speed of sound, which is 1100 feet per second, and you have been given the time it takes to reach the sound to you. So, you know what is distance. Distance is equal to speed into time. Right. So, we have the speed as 1100 feet per second times the time is 11 by 5 seconds. So, 11 by 5. And that is equal to 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 220 is 1100. Now, 220 times 11 and that is equal to 2420 feet which is the distance between the person and the wood chopper. So, option B is the correct answer. An express train traveled at an average speed of 100 kilometers per hour, stopping for 3 minutes after every 75 kilometers. How long did it take to reach its destination 600 kilometers from the starting point? So, you have been given the speed and you have been given the distance. Let us first calculate the time taken to travel 600 kilometers. It is equal to the distance which is 600 kilometers upon the speed which is 100 kilometers per hour. So, it is equals to 6 hours. Right. So, 6 hours is the time taken to travel 600 kilometers without stopping. Now, to calculate the total time it takes from the starting point to the ending point, we will need to calculate how many stoppages this train has. Right. So, it is said that it stops every 75 kilometer. So, the number of stoppages will be equal to 600 kilometers divided by 75 kilometers minus 1. Why minus 1? Because the last stop is not countable, right? We are not going to count the last stop. So, 600 by 75 is equal to, it is equal to 8 minus 1 and that is equal to 7. So, there are 7 stops in all. Now, at each stop, this train stops for 3 minutes. So, the total time taken in stoppages is 3 times 7, that's 21 minutes. Now, what is asked is how long did the train take to reach its destination? Well, the total time taken to travel 600 kilometers plus the time taken to stop. So, 21 minutes plus 6 hours. And that's the answer. And we have it as option A 6 hours 21 minutes. A train covers a distance of 10 kilometers in 12 minutes. If its speed is decreased by 5 kilometers per hour, the time taken by it to cover the same distance will be. Well, you have been given the distance as 10 kilometers and you have also been given the time which is 12 minutes and which is equivalent to 12 by 60 hours. So, now you have the distance and the time. You can calculate the speed. Speed is equal to distance upon time which is 10 by 12 by 60 and that's 10 times 60 by 12. So, 12 5 is a 60, 10 times 5 is 50. So, 50 kilometers per hour is the speed of this train. Now, this speed is decreased by 5 kilometers. So, new speed is equal to 50 kilometers minus 5 kilometers, that's 45 kilometers per hour. Okay. Now, the question is how much time is taken by this train to cover the same distance with this new speed? Well, again, we know what is time. Time is equals to distance upon speed. So, the distance is the same, that is 10 kilometers upon the speed is 45 kilometers per hour, the new speed. So, 10 by 45 and that is equal to 5 twos are 10, 5 nines are 45. So, 2 by 9 hours. Now, none of the options are given in hours. So, let us convert this 2 by 9 hours into minutes. So, it is equal to 2 by 9 hours to minutes will be times 60 minutes. So, we have 3 threes are 9, 3 twenties are 60. So, we have 40 by 3 minutes. 
let's divide 40 by 3 3 ones are 3 the remainder is 1 the 0 comes down 3 3 is a 9 the remainder is 1 so 40 by 3 is equivalent to 13 1 by 3 so 13 minutes what is one third of a minute well a minute is 60 second long one third of 60 is 20 so 13 minutes 20 seconds is the correct answer an aeroplane covers a certain distance at a speed of 240 kilometers per hour in 5 hours to cover the same distance in 1 2 by 3 hours it must travel at a speed of well you have the speed of this aeroplane and the time it takes to cover the distance so you can calculate the distance so distance is equal to speed into time so we have 240 times time which is 5 so that's equal to 1200 kilometers now you have to cover this same distance in this much of time and you have been asked at what speed it must travel so you have been given the time now so the time is 1 2 by 3 and that is equals to 3 plus 2 by 3 and that's 5 by 3 hours and you have been asked the speed so again speed is equals to distance upon time distance is 1200 kilometers upon time is 5 by 3 so this is 1200 times 3 by 5 so this is equal to 240 times 3 and that's 720 and what will be the unit well the unit of distance is kilometers so the speed will be kilometers per time is in hours so per hour so 720 kilometers per hour option d